Welcome to Thanks Academy, the podcast where we watch all the best picture winners of all time in random order with random friends, and we're halfway through. This is the halfway mark, so I made a very special thing happen here. Uh, today's movie is The Lord of the Rings, colon, Return of the King, and today's random friend is J.J. Summers. Hi. Who... I say hi again? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Who has never seen a Lord of the Rings movie. This is true. Nor read a Lord of the Rings book. This is true. <laughs> and I'm so excited about this. This I, is the coolest I, thing that's I, ever happened. I owned a Lord of the Rings book. I owned The Hobbit for years. Okay. It was a garage sale pickup, and it was always in that, I'm going to read this Sunday pile. And, and you did not. No, nah, but I don't know if I read anything in that pile. <laughs> This is, I'm so giddy. Okay, this is great. Because it, it just strikes me as ridiculous that the Academy gave the best picture to the third movie in the series. You know what I mean? Like. The Return of the Jedi. Yeah. The Search like, for Spock. <laughs> Search for Spock was three? Yeah, it was uh -huh. three. You're right, you're right. Uh, yeah, it came after Wrath of Khan. Uh, I don't know my Star Trek as well. I did see those. And those were good movies. I know people hate Return of the Jedi, but I don't. Not, anyway, not Academy Award winners. I wouldn't give the third one only the Academy Award. What you typically are supposed to do, Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, is give the movie, to, give the award to the first one, and then just nominate the rest if you feel like they were that good. Did they feel like they missed it and were coming back with? Was it one of those? All three were nominated, and I okay. do think this is one of those where we're like, well, we're really trying to give it to the whole trilogy, but. On paper, this is the only movie that won the pitch, so that's the only one we're going to watch. Um, obviously, because nine hours would be ridiculous. What do you know about The Lord of the Rings? I mean, you can't know nothing. I know Magneto and Will Turner <laughs> and Agent Smith. Yes! <laughs> that's all those characters um, are in the movie. Steven Tyler. <laughs> Partially. 50% of Steven Tyler is in this movie. Um, mm. Mark Martin Freeman is not exactly. <laughs> he may or may not be in this movie. I don't know. And I, I know he's remember. in the Hobbit pictures. Right. I don't think he is. Yeah. Mm. So I know I know some of the cast, and I know that Led Zeppelin loves it. That's true too. This is this is Led Zeppelin's. Well, they're dead. Aren't they? How many of them are alive? I, I think it would be very distraught to find that out. <laughs> no, 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 they're not all dead, but like... I think just, I think just, Cage just the, the drummer's dead. Just the drummer? Yeah. Wow, well that's good. Yeah, they're, they're doing okay. You know, usually, I mean, if you're, if you're in an iconic rock band, I would guess you'd want the drummer to be the first one to die. You don't want to do this back... Like, the Beatles are doing it backwards. Yeah, it's really not making anybody happy. Yeah, you don't need a, a drummer who just can't do it anymore. <laughs> well, the drummer I mean, is the, the one... That's the physical... You know, unless... <laughs> uh, Mick Jagger keeps going somehow, but... I mean, I feel like you could have a singer in, like, a like a lazy boy chair, and people sure. would be forgiving of that, but the drummer is still is, is going on... All cylinders, however many that is, Def Leppard included. That's, yeah, however many cylinders that is. Yeah. But yeah, you also just, if you're just the drummer, you can't tour as the band. I mean, I guess you try, but you're going to have to replace <laughs> all the uh, noisy making musicians that people actually hooked, hooked on to. What drummer could actually do that? What drummer is. <sighs> Phil Collins? Or, yeah, Phil Collins could. I mean, he's essentially. He could be like, like Phyllis or something. Phyllis, he could, yeah, if he just, if you, Phil, if you make it this long, and I kind of hope you do because I like you, if Tony Banks and Mark, Mike Rutherford die, you can still tour as Genesis. You can go back to touring as Genesis. That's when you're back in the band, when everybody else is dead. Yeah. We're way off track here. I want to talk I about the Lords of Rings. The Lords of movie? <laughs> we should just keep writing and get into it. <laughs> Maybe I'll still never have seen the Lord of the Rings movie by the time we're done with this. No, we're going to talk for four hours instead about how crazy... Where was JJ in the early 2000s? Tell me about how this happened. Where were you in life? I was playing in punk bands. Playing was, in punk bands? I was living in vans and garages mostly. Mm -hmm. um, and you were so... I moved, I moved to Austin in 2001 from Kansas City. Okay, so you were and, here. Yeah. 
And you were so pumped that you didn't go see these movies with fire and dragons and shit in them. Yeah, I okay. guess so. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't see very many movies. Uh, movies, I guess I could have snuck in, but... Do you like movies? I love movies. Okay. I'm checking because literally uh, a couple episodes ago I had someone on who turned out had only seen like 20 movies. I may know who this is. <laughs> and it's blowing my mind that uh, I'm finding all these people. It's great. Um, okay. So what do you think The Lord of the Rings is about in general? Um, I, I think wise. I think it's He-Man for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, so there's like a there's a skeleton based bad but, guy. But then what is He Man? <laughs> he Man is He Man for nerds. It's He Man is Lord of the Rings for kids. Is what that is. Okay. I guess. Yeah, and you could look at it both ways. <laughs> so you don't know anything about the plot, the general story arc. Um, I've heard the the clerk's summary. Clerks two summary. Okay, what is remind me of the clerks walk, two walking and walking and walking. And True. So, so I expect walking and, <coughs> and possibly blizzards or snow or something. Mm. Is, is there a, a winter storm in this? You see, you got me because I, although I have seen these movies, I watched them back when they came out mm -hmm. in the theaters all the way through one time. So I know the whole thing, but I forget what happens in this specific movie other than this is the end. So I remember the ending part, but like, is there snow in this movie? I have no idea. I can't remember. There's snow at some point in the whole thing. The white guy from Green Book's in it, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the white guy from Green Book is in this movie. Uh -huh. I like that you are approaching this movie knowing every other movie, and, and you're going to go in fresh for just this. Are you upset? Is this going to ruin like something for you that you are going to have seen the third movie and not seen the first two? I doubt it. <laughs> you seem very chill about this. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, if, if I don't figure out what's going on, that's, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I, was, I forgot. Okay. Uh, real quick before we start. Do, do I, do I need a background? I mean, no, they're looking no, for, you they're don't looking get for a background. They're looking for a ring, right? Yeah, you get nothing. Here's what I'm going to give you. This is, I, I thought about this long and hard. Did, did they check in the sink? Because I'm not like I'm not like Stephen Colbert. I'm not like the world's biggest Lord of the Rings fan. I've read all. I, I've read the books and I've seen the movies. That's the extent of my knowledge. One time through each. Not a huge fan either. But I know the story. Here's the thing. I will give you. Let's see, it's three and a half hours, two hundred minutes. That seems fair. Five it's questions. Good drive to Dallas. <laughs> it's a drive to Dallas movie. Okay, you have, you get five questions that I will answer about what the fuck is going on. Throughout, like, the entire, throughout the movie. Throughout the movie. And Other that, than that, you are on your own. <laughs> that doesn't include like questions about pizza. Or, no, yeah. about the movie. Okay, you can ask other here. questions. Okay. Yeah, uh, but just like about what the fuck is going on in the movie, it's I will like, answer. Oh, that was your first question. <laughs> uh, no, 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 nothing like that. I will. I answer five questions about what I think is happening in the plot if I can figure it out too. Uh, other than that, you're on your own and feel free to speculate because that's what I want. I want. I want to approach this as if. Somebody was like, I'm going to watch all the Best Picture winners, but I'm from another planet, and I'm sitting down, and here it is. That's, that description's not so far off base tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. And at some point soon, there's going to be pizza, so people just have to listen to us eat. But for now, let's watch Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Yay! I don't remember much there either. The late 90s were good. But then... Early 2000s, not so much. Okay. Here we go. My return to television at that point was My Name is Earl. Oh, gosh, yes. I saw that. I'm like, oh, yeah, mole rats. Such a classic. <laughs> Both these guys were mole rats. Yeah. Cool. All yeah. right. We have pizza. We have credits. We nut films. We have a long night ahead of us. Here we go. surprises yet. <laughs> yeah, I already, spoiler alert, I gave away the title. Sorry about that. Okay, not a ring. Well, you can make it one. <laughs> <laughs> the 
an opening for PETA. <laughs> were, there, were there boycotts and Probably. outrage? I'm sure. There's always boycotts and outrage for PETA. Yeah, PETA's at every Oscar, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh! oh so, I've got one! We've got <laughs> hobbits fishing. I'm gonna fish me! So how many roles does Andy Circus play? In this? Is that one of my questions? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's not about what's going on. <laughs> well, that special effect doesn't hold up. Yeah, CGI has improved a bit. There's your ring. Yeah, roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. Didn't feel like three and a half hours. <laughs> Scene in train spotting. Oh my god! <laughs> I guess they haven't seen a ring before. I don't know. <laughs> supports all of my political theories. <laughs> I assume all the memes were correct. this character, right? Mm -hmm. They took this seriously. This wasn't the Jar Jar Binks of the Lord of the Rings. No, they love this. In fact, this scene, I think people were like, wow, what an incredible scene. Yeah. 
Is that supposed to look more real because of the water? Like, oh, it might look that way in a reflection? I guess. She always needs to feed. She must eat. Or she gets as filthy oxes. And that doesn't taste very nice, does it, precious? No. Not very nice at all. My love. She hungers for sweeter meats. Are we supposed to assume that there are two, like this is a dialogue or a monologue? I think he's talking to himself. <laughs> is he playing two parts or is it just the camera? in the scene right now is just pissing their pants a little bit because they're in the presence of Ian McKellen. Yeah, probably. How awesome is that? They're all wearing diapers. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> this is the third movie I've done for this guy and I'm still leaking. He goes like, oh man. You will not risk I'll drive you anywhere. Uniting under one banner. Fake Gene Hackman totally off. He will raise Minas Tirith to the ground before he sees a king return to the throne of men. If the beacons of Gondor are dipped, Rohan must be ready for war. I probably would have seen these if Gene Hackman was actually in them. I know, right? Why should we ride to the aid of those who did not come to ours? Or Nick Nolte. <laughs> Do we, uh, Get up, we're getting a ring. <laughs> no, they must be warned. They will be. So all of the hobbits are vaguely Roger Daltrey. Yeah, okay. yes, they're a race of little tiny Roger Daltrey's. Well, I, mean, I think they're like life-size Roger Daltrey's. Life-size Roger Daltrey's, yeah. good point, yes. He's not an imposing character. No. Run, effects. Show us the meaning of haste. Our enemy is ready. Okay. His full strength gathered. Let's see it. orcs, and as well. Legions of Heradrim from the south, mercenaries from the coast, all will answer Mordor's call. This will be the end of Gondor as we know it. Here the hammer stroke will fall hardest. If the river is taken, if the garrison at Osgiliath falls, the last defense of this city will be gone. I just have to accept yeah, that Ian McKellen is a great actor because I'm just like, oh, Ian McKellen the whole time. Right. Like, I don't even know that I recognize that he's acting or a character or anything. I think I'm just a problem with Ian McKellen. I think he's just, yeah, just him talking is fun. Yeah. The one who would lead Mordor's armies in war. The one they say no living man can kill. Like when Werner Herzog... Played the bad guy and like Jack Reacher. Yeah. Everything. I, I couldn't really embrace that character, but I was just like, ah, Werner Herzog is delightfully evil. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt so bad for him being in a Jack Reacher film. He, he looked like he was having a lot of fun. Well, good for him. I want Werner to have as much fun as he can uh, before the inevitable extinguishment of his life. <laughs> We make holes in teeth. We make holes in teeth. <laughs> Faster. This feels very Army of Darkness to me. It's very Army of Darkness. Yes. Draw a chainsaw to head this whole battle. Wonder how conscious Peter Jackson was of that. Of Army of Darkness? <laughs> I, I mean, I know he's yeah. he knows Army of Darkness. I know he's a fan. And I think I him and Sam how conscious he was when he did this scene. Oh gosh! Yeah. If he was like, oh man, this is my this, these are my handouts. It's my chance. Yeah. Oh, you I'm, missed them! No. They're running right by you. <laughs> Turn around, stupid. <laughs> They're right there. Save us a couple more hours. There you go. Let's wait. 
so they could go for both swords. somebody like this when they have a sword? Even I know that. <laughs> Yeah, has any movie done it better than they did in like 1920? Right. Like Douglas Fairbanks was pretty awesome. Has anybody topped that? The only thing you can do is go faster, yeah. which is why I like lightsabers. Yeah, I mean add add lasers. Yeah, make they it did faster. That in the 70s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Princess Bride was pretty good. But if you go back and watch like the Douglas Fairbanks ones where he was actually. Swinging from chandeliers and sliding down ropes and sword fighting and doing all of that in one take. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and it's, I guess, tough, tough to heighten that. going to look super choreographed because they either look choreographed or they're over. Yeah, <laughs> right. This movie's all about rejection. Yep. And what? Good thing they still got six warriors guarding the tree. I did watch uh, Bad Taste and Dead Alive multiple times back in the day. Yeah. And I'm glad to see that Peter Jackson is still at least partly that guy. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> There's lots of weird in this. Release the prisoners! Chucking heads at him? Yeah. My sons. That's gangster. Real I gangster. Precious. Not this time. Not this time. Oh. He kind of overplayed his hand there, didn't he? Yeah. is an abusive relationship. Yeah, it's kind of a messy one. They're both codependent for the ring.
Now why is the little scroll necessary? Uh, he's their guide to where it can be destroyed. It can only be destroyed in a very specific place. Um, but also, to your point, I'm just thinking it's so kind of like a tambourine player or something. <laughs> just like, man, that tambourine player's really got an attitude problem, you know? <laughs> I feel like we could find another tambourine player in any town. <laughs> really just kind of like change up our whole percussion sound to not include tambourine. Maybe use cymbals or something. That's what I'm saying is let's just get rid of that tambourine player and yeah. go on with the tour. Wait a second. What is this shit? This girl. Oh, right, the third girl. Pluto of the Shire. I forgot. If you do not find a way, no one. I forgot about Kate Blanchett. Can't believe that. I just dubbed in her voice, though. Mm hmm. It must be pointed out that two thirds of the women in this movie are not human. So really, we're just dealing with the one. I was in all three movies. It's okay. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. What? Sorry. Wait. What? Again, they could have shaved like two minutes right here. Yeah, could you say that again? And die. Say you're proud of her! <laughs> die. Dead? I think he's dead. What do you think? Jesus, now I can move to the city and live life the way I want to. <laughs> Out of your shadow. I never got to tell you I'm bisexual. <laughs> Bye. Now I can take all your flannels. <laughs> <sighs> now we take a moment to We deal with loss, don't we? <laughs> that this had like nothing to do with the main plot, so that was a lot of... Hoo ha for nothing. Oh, yes, you made it great. Jesus. <laughs> Bad idea. The reality of the tight spot, these lads, despite the fact they're dead, you gave us. I'm so all upset work. Danny DeVito did not get that part. I know, right? I hold your oath fulfilled. Go. Be it. Oh shit, more bad guys. Wait! <laughs> Wait, come back! You're only looking at alive people now. God, imagine how much longer this movie would take if they had to wrap up the stories of real people <laughs> yeah. instead of just a bunch of ghost soldiers. Quick question. Yeah. You're still a ring, right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yes. I know we we've been watching Lord of the Sidetracked for a while now, but I've got to look after you. Yeah. Those, those smell those, awful. Those feet. <laughs> Never touched a sock. <sighs> Rapunzel or Rapunzel? Oh, so busy. 
<laughs> Who decided how much web to leave on? <laughs> Is that just because it's been so fucking long yes. since we checked in, they wanted to remind us that there had been a web? Right uh, off. Hands off. That shiny shirt. That's mine. Let's go into the great eye, along with everything else. So I assume that they grew up in the same place, but they have vastly different accents. <laughs> oh, the orcs? They got, like, made... We showed you that when y'all were in So they're not all from like Ork Town. They didn't go to Ork Town High. Yeah, they're all from like a, a factory that makes orcs. But I guess some of the machines work better than others. Do they ever call Orson? <laughs> I'm sure it's on the internet, so. Oh, yeah. Fireball. If ever I was to marry someone, it would have been her. I thought he was going to say it would be her. It would have been her. Yeah, nobody believes he's Sam. Does she live in Canada, Sam? Yeah. Look. I believe you, Sam. You don't have to pretend. It's I believe you kissed a girl. Sure, sure Sam. <laughs> it's sure. just us on this lava raft. <laughs> sure, Sam. Here sure. Things. 216-year-old virgin. <laughs> So I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but well, I'm no. thinking there's no way we're close. No. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's not up yet. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> now what I'm thinking is that I know you've put in the time, but <laughs> Sam, you can do better. <laughs> hey. Eagle delivery. Son, got him. Oh, that's convenient. I know, right? Especially since they fucking walked there. Didn't know you had this option, did you? Next time, spring for the plane ticket. Right? First class, baby. Mm hmm. Fly the friendly sky. If I remember correctly, the rest of the movie is in slow motion. <laughs> I hope it's just well lit. Yeah, yeah. See, bright white light means uh, good. Auntie M. <laughs> <laughs> you were all dream. there. Yeah.
<laughs> what did he say? Nothing. They just started laughing. <laughs> It's like the Bill and Ted of the Shire. <laughs> oh, tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> it, it was all a dream, huh? I Everything was, all three movies were, they were just a dream. Yep. I love laughter. I don't laugh. Smile smugly. I also don't laugh. But I can smile. Viggo Mortensen as Bruce Box Lightning. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're missing somebody. Dude, pick and chill out. Oh, yeah, sexy Sam. Looking good. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Do we have like Animal House style? Uh... <laughs> Reads on every character from all three movies here. I don't remember how many endings. Where, where is Liv Tyler? Oh God, that's a whole thing that's still to come. Cool. <laughs> First, we have this slow motion scene. Because I'm really wrapped up in the 45 seconds of her story <laughs> that we saw. You did miss like the two and a half minutes of her story in the previous two movies. Oh, somebody wash their hair. I think he put it on backwards, old man. Now come the days of the king. Is that me? Am I the king? May they be blessed. Damn, when you take away the hair, he looks like Ed Harris. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he had gum. I think he had gum. <laughs> Let us together rebuild this world. Well. That we may share in the days of peace. <laughs> build the wall. Build the wall. <laughs> Can you imagine having a president who sang to you? Oh, God. Unfortunately, I can. It's okay that you friends own me. I could picture like Jimmy Carter singing you like a little lullaby or something. Sure. Go to bed. Something nice. But... Yeah. I could picture Obama like trying to sing but like not being that good. <laughs> Picture Obama doing like Sugar Hill Gang or some mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, he'd be like the fun one at karaoke. <laughs> He's doing a wild thing again. Yeah. <laughs> Funky Cole Medina, here comes Barack. Oh, surprise! I hid behind this banner <laughs> just to freak you out. My dad's rich and famous. That's how I got into college. <laughs> you know what? If this scene was in regular speed, I wouldn't buy it. But right now, because it's in slow-mo, totally, totally taking it in. Oh, yeah. I wish they could slow it down a little bit more, really. Are they talking? Is this a silent movie? What's going on? Whoa! Dude! 
I totally saw a facial line through the makeup. His tongue was coming out before he <laughs> landed. He, he kissed her like a cobra. Jeez. Like there was also spittle involved. Like a cobra. Vigo venom. Licked for the very first time. Gosh, can you imagine uh, having a president? She and likes it. Public makeup. She sessions? likes it. Look how pointy her ears got. Oh yeah. <laughs> now gaze with pity on the hobbits. It's part of the royal tradition. My friends. <laughs> you go get my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we feel like around you every day. <laughs> we want you to know before we take it away. When we look at you, we look at you like this. You all need to take Rogaine from here on out. Everybody stand up and laugh. So there's no horse rule? Again. In the fellowship of the ring, they're eternally bound by friendship and love. Was ended. Yeah. They ran out of money and they just yeah. <laughs> had to put this drawing in there. We've the seen this all before. 13 months to the day since Gandalf sent us on our own journey. Is going to Tibet. We found ourselves looking upon a familiar sight. Wales. I mean the Shire. We were home. Oh, man, they got a telephone? Mm-hmm. I loved you on that baking show. It's just moving around with your mouth open. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> carrying, hey! Carrying a big squash while you do it. <laughs> I guess we just uh, drink in slow motion until yeah. we die. That's an uncomfortable silence for the rest of us. <laughs> Go ahead and see what they do the day after they get back. Boy, oh boy. Maybe let's just see what's up until Wednesday. Is this just is this all just to prove that Sam is straight? Because you know, please. It's not an either or thing, Sam. That's true. <laughs> Slow motion laughing. <sighs> Later that day. That's, that's great, Sam, but eventually... <laughs> I hope you guys have an open one. That's all I'm saying. You want what you want, you know? Did they already have kids? What the hell? Them already. Yeah. How do you pick up the threads of an old life? <sighs> Who cares? How do you go on? But in your heart, you begin to understand. There is no going back. In the books, they came back and the Shire was burned down. End. That was a cool ending. Some hearts that go too deep. Anakin came back and burned them all. Yeah. Is 
So in part four, his finger turns into an evil Frodo? Yeah. And hunts him now? Yeah. That's the next trilogy. And it goes back in time to get the ring. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, also, why the fuck didn't they put Nimoy in this somewhere? I know. Sam, I told you, you've got to live at your wife's house now. It's been four years to the day since where they talked, Sam. It's never really healed. There and back again. A Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins. And the Lord of the Rings. They're dressed for entirely different temperatures. Yeah. One of them has nice. thin blood. There's room for it to long. Bilbo once told me his part in this tale would end. But each of us must come and go in the telling. I'm a husky hound. my blood is thin. Now <laughs> there would be no more journeys for him. Save one. Bye. Come here again, lad. Where are we going? To the heart of the world. The elves have called you a special honor. A place on the last ship to leave the land. No, no. So that's not Martin Freeman, but it's Martin Did Freeman's character. Yeah. Saying that old ring of mine again. Dan Aykroyd is a powerhouse. <laughs> like to have held it one last time. Frodo looks right in the camera and goes, That's what she said. <laughs> Roll credits. No, you'd think so, but there's this. I thought he died right there. Well, he did. This is more of a weekend at Bilbo's kind of thing now. <laughs> said his name three times and he came back. Yeah. Well, here's a sight I have never seen before. I am glad that they returned to the puppet instead of CGI. <laughs> Yeah, we're the same the age. The power of the three rings is ended. Where's James the Spader in the middle? Come. Yeah, who's in the middle? The dominion of men. Seems like nine hours and 45 minutes into a trilogy is a bad time to introduce a character. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, when you got this many characters, you really got to sprinkle them all the way through. I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. There goes Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Come, <on>, little Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie I want to see. <laughs> Slow motion. They did an Einstein movie with Walter Matthau that could have been oh, so yeah. much more. <laughs> I saw that unfortunately. Where he like is like a love matchmaker or something. Yeah. He hooks his niece Meg Ryan up with yeah. is it Tim Robbins or something? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, perfectly yeah, charming, I'm sure. I don't really remember much more than that. But just imagine Math Alice Einstein doing literally anything else in a movie. Across. Little Einstein's kind of like Chucky. Okay, bye. He's a little tiny murderer who's smarter than everybody else. How is there an extended version of this movie? 
the whole thing is in slow mode. What does he mean? DJ Screw put it together. To a ring. <laughs> Where are we exactly? How long after the wedding is this? <laughs> Later that day. <laughs> also, you, minor character. I love you too. Who are you again? Give me a hug. <laughs> I swear, if you wait for the credits, I do have a name. Wait, his finger's back. Thanks, Gandalf. You too, other minor character. Gandalf's toy. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna be great in like three or four seasons of Lost. Your breath smells like wizard. <laughs> that is all. I'm gonna miss you most of all, Scarecrow. I'm gonna miss you the most, Rudy. <laughs> You're so brave. It's like you really, really sucked, but you never gave up. I saw what that spider did to you. <laughs> I promise not to tell. Ugh, you know, 20 minutes ago, I was pretty satisfied with how this movie was over. Wait a minute. Is he gonna die now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, get on the boat. Get on the boat. I know it was you, Frodo. Get on the boat. Walk to the boat. Go on the boat. Yes. Yes, Gandalf says, get on the boat. He's saying it in slow motion, but that's what he says. Go, get on the boat. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Probably, yes. probably not today. There you go. You're doing it. You're getting on the boat. Go, go. Get, 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 get. Boat's taking off. Nobody's on it. I don't know why. Lots of people walked on earlier. Where'd they go? Empty boat now. Who cares? Get on the boat. Stare at the boat. Get on the boat. Don't turn around. Don't you fucking dare. Look. God damn. No. Get on the boat! Just get. Please, I'm crying because you won't do it. The end! Get up. Thank you. Just, uh, if one more elephant would just trample through the. <laughs> okay, where's the boat? We get it. The boat goes away. Some boats do. This better be the last ending. There is so much ending. <laughs> Bye! Do you think Best Picture, like, voters stopped watching at the three-hour mark and just didn't know that this was there? This 20 minutes of... Oh, you'd think it'd be over. <laughs> what the hell? I guess you did. <laughs> what the fuck? I am signed on to know every fucking detail about every person's life. Oh my god, out. his wife shrank. <laughs> <laughs> what is he going to do about this awful disease that's oh. shrinking the women? Ten hours in, they introduce Rick Moranis' character. <laughs> So what happens to these kids? Show us. <sighs> Alright. The end. Like, yeah, go in that house. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Sam and Maggie have a family of four. They came to us wanting to redo their little cottage. <laughs> First thing they didn't have an enormous budget. <laughs> what is this shit? All right, they're in the house. Fade black. You'd think that would be the end. Yay! Hold, hold on. What? It's a trick, right? No, yeah, no, Samuel Jackson pops up. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh. No, it's just, a, it's just a background painting. I think we're good. I think I can stop it now. Peter L. Jackson. I'm stopping it now. JJ, you have now seen The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Are you hungry for more? <laughs> Because <laughs> there's so much more. There's two other movies, and then there's three other movies on top of that. Um, and so many books. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think I would have finished this on my own. Uh, I made you watch it. I succeeded in making you watch it. Uh, I, I didn't hate it, and it was so easy to just make fun of while watching it but I don't think if I was at home alone and was just like yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this because I've never seen it I would have stopped oh, early yeah. on how early on? really early on really? <laughs> <laughs> it is so slow it is devastatingly slow and it slows down as it moves along not just at the end but like even getting to the end and I don't know why you could have told this story in two hours, even with everything in it. Were the other movies like this? Or was this... They did were, they want to drag out and fit in every idea that he may have had in the making of the others? The other two movies felt... They were both like two and a half hours. And they felt reasonable. In fact, people were kind of complaining with the first one that parts of the book were left out for economy, you know? And uh, and then this one came out. Read, and the, I'm read still the book mad. again. Read the book again. You know? Let a movie be a movie. I agree, but also, like, I don't. Well, I wasn't complaining that they left parts of the book out. I was complaining that they put parts of the book into this part. <laughs> I mean, I still remember walking out of the theater for this. Like, why? You could almost hear every page turn. Oh, in slow motion. <laughs> in slow motion. It's so bad. It's such a it's such a terribly slow and dull movie. It, you know, even the parts where it's being exciting aren't like that. What else? Gripping. What else was up for the award that year? Uh, that's a good question. Let's look that up, shall we? Two thousand three. It won all eleven Academy Awards for which it was nominated. The other Best Picture good <laughs> nominees were Lost in Translation, pretty good movie. <laughs> Master Commander, uh, <laughs> Mystic River. Uh, and Sea Biscuit, but, but we were okay, going so through this big bogey time. Big names and yeah. then a a woman director. Yeah, and then lost in translation. Two thousand three. Yeah. And that that movie had like good buzz when it was out too. It didn't become a cult favorite later. Right. And that movie it hit big as evidence. It was. It was nominated in multiple yeah. categories, like big categories. I mean, it says it all that Johnny Depp was nominated for Best Actor for Captain Jack Sparrow. I think we were just having a moment in America where we were like, candy, please. We just want to eat candy, make it big, expensive, shiny-looking candy, and we will eat it up. Yeah, this was, we were still recovering from September 11th on the big Yeah. Below to... But what's funny is that he made this before all of that, because these were made all at the same time. Back, 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 before they even got released. And then they just got pays to release one a year. And uh, so he had no idea. It just, I think it was dumb luck that that was the mood we were in. It was like, let's watch Lord of the Rings for nine and a half hours. Renee Zellweger for Cold Mountain. I don't remember Cold Mountain. That was a Civil War thing. It was pretty good. Uh, Alec Baldwin was nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Just the kind of year we were having, man. Yeah. Whale Rider is in there. Something's got to give. Not a great year. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at Finding Nemo. 
That was a good movie. <laughs> uh, that one, that's the animated uh, picture. Anyway. Yeah, rough year. Rough year. What? I feel like with a little digging, we could find better movies to nominate than In most of those. Yeah, we could redo the Oscars for 2003 and have a, one with more integrity. What makes me angry is that if you're going to judge a movie, you judge it on, like, what? The cinematography and the directing and the special effects and the acting and all that. And on all of those levels, I find this movie to be B+. plus. You know what I mean? Like, is it just the average being B plus that made it the best? Because the cinematography, the CGI doesn't really hold up that well. There are a couple of really amazing sequences, but they're sprinkled in a three and a half hour movie. The the battles aren't exciting. The acting is embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, every line is exposition. And and mm-hmm. when the actors are given something cool to do they blow it it's so cheesy there's several times we laughed out loud just at the the action on the screen and you have a director who should be having fun he's a fun director I know but the budget and the the scope of this just all, all the fun was in design like facial design of these orcs and other I think the only characters. fun moment is when Orlando Bloom skateboards off of the elephant. I think that's the only Peter yeah. Jackson moment that really made it into the movie. And I also, I've seen his early stuff too. His, his gross out weird New Zealand yeah, movies. He killed zombies with lawnmowers. Yeah, yeah, they're funny and weird. Had preachers fighting zombies kicking ass for the Lord. Yes. Yeah. I kick ass for the Lord. <sighs> yeah, he's he's not having fun here, right? I, I see a fun director who's looking at notes from the studio and deadlines and yeah. having anxiety about scheduling problems and shit like that and not just having fun. And trying way too hard. There's a lot of trying to... I mean, all that slow motion is trying too hard. I feel like he probably didn't even have anything to do with that. It's like, you go, you go on home. <laughs> we'll finish up in here. Do you, we're, we're the we're the studio pros. Do you feel like the all right? We know what the academy wants, and they were right. <laughs> did, did the plot? I was surprised at how much the plot made sense. To be honest, I mean, did it make sense for you enough to like not be confused the whole time watching just this movie with no context? I mean, there's there's a very obvious mission. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a pretty linear story. Right. <laughs> and all you have to do is deal with the fact that 70 to 80% of the characters look like at least one other character that you're following. <laughs> and have to keep up their um, d- diversity might have fixed that problem. There is so many side plots I mean you could argue that everything except for the taking the ring because they don't really uh, I'm so I'm just mad at this movie everybody's except for JJ well not even JJ seen it everybody's seen this movie now officially and it's it's a chore to watch like other I know people who love this I know I don't understand it I mean, other super big blockbuster high fantasy, I can totally rewatch over and over and over again. But this one's like, I, I feel like I'm doing schoolwork just to deal with it. And I, you, you can't even like appreciate stuff like the the backgrounds or anything like that because it's been done so much better since. Yeah. Maybe, maybe at the time you're like, whoa, I've never seen anything like that. But mm. you know now. Something like Thor Ragnarok just blows it away. Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, that's the thing is the special effects were cutting edge for the time, but they were like Jurassic Park era cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah, now they're like bread and butter special effects. It, even the best ones, and the ones that aren't the best are kind yeah, of the like special effects washed out like, green screeny. It's like the equivalent of something you would see on Arrow now. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> we are down. It's, it's the TV standard. It's CW level. Yeah. Special effects. Like, I think Jurassic Park holds up better. Oh, seriously. Uh, in and fact, that's 10 years earlier? Yeah. Well. I mean, that's no Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want other than for movies like this not to win Best Picture. Yeah, it's, it's fine. They should make stuff like this. There's obviously an audience for it and people who are into this kind of thing and they want to see big, long, extended stories and yeah. maybe Netflix and HBO and stuff are terrific for this kind of thing at this point. But to put it as the best picture of the year... Just... Even against those pictures... <laughs> Even against those pictures, I honestly think Pirates of the Caribbean would have proven the same point that we were in that mood, but it would have been more fun. I'd rather watch that. Better sword fighting. Better sword fighting. Yes. But less tasty bloom. Mm, yeah, percentage-wise. Good for Orlando Bloom for having that moment. That's all he got, but I'm glad he had it. I wonder what he's doing now. Last I saw him, he was in Katy Perry's Instagram feed. Just hanging out with her. Yeah. Which is cool. <laughs> I love Glad her. Glad we had that moment. I mean, that was her moment, too. I yeah. mean, they belong together. They're a moment in time. <sighs> Halfway through, all the best picture winners. And I don't like most of them. And I'm starting to question my sanity. Like, uh, do I just hate movies? What are the good ones? Uh, I liked The Apartment. Yes. That's really, really good movie. I'm keeping a running list, if people weren't aware of this, on the Facebook page for the podcast. After each movie, I slot it in an order, and that order is expanding slowly. So I am keeping a running list of the best to the worst. And this will go somewhere in the middle, because it's not like a terrible movie, it's just... It's just not the best picture. It's a mediocre... It's not. It's above mediocre, but only because they threw so much money at it. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, I'm literally wiped out by the concept of watching this movie. I feel like The Dark Crystal got it better. Yeah. And that was one movie. That was one movie. That was barely yeah. over 90 minutes. Built that entire world. I think the source material is part of the problem, too, because The Lord of the Rings is, like, impressive in that Beatles sense where, like, it invented all this shit. Yeah. The dwarves and the elves. I mean, not really. Those were all old cultural folk tales, but, like, it put the fantasy genre together. But it's been mined so heavily over and over again by so many fantasy novels and movies that like just thinking about dragons and dwarves and elves doesn't like do it for me you got this got to be a tough place as a filmmaker to right. translate the books because you know so many people view them as a holy text exactly and, and you, i feel like peter jackson make them happy as well as you know, jerks like us we kept referencing other movies that things looked like because Peter Jackson had to resort to cliches from outside the genre just to refresh up the genre a little bit. Yeah. Uh, exhausting, exhausting movie. <laughs> thank you for coming to my house and doing this experiment. I don't know, did the experiment succeed or fail? What, what was I experimenting on? You, as a human subject. Um, it, it succeeded in reinforcing my choice to not watch <laughs> Lord of the Rings films. Um, that is such a, that it, is such a recurring, like a, what is, what's the word? Recursive success. <laughs> that watching this movie, like, succeeded in reinforcing that you didn't want to watch this movie. Yeah, I... <laughs> I, I grew up on Star Wars. I've got Star Wars. Yeah, and yeah, any, yeah. Anytime I would think about watching Lord of the Rings, I could just watch Star Wars again. It's so rewatchable. Maybe that's it. Maybe we're both just Star Wars people, and this doesn't 
tickle that itch or whatever. I feel I feel like it hits the same mark in a different generation. But like this or is a new. Different, different type of viewer, maybe. Yeah, I think I think people like this because they're supposed to like it. I honestly do. I think there's a few hardcore like super duper uber nerds for it, which I respect, and God bless you and have it. Um, but I think that like the fact that this made a bazillion dollars at the box office and everybody in America went to see it was more just because you were supposed to, not because anybody genuinely. It is. It is so white. It is so white. It is incredibly white. It's a story of England. I mean, that's the thing. It's a thinly veiled, chauvinistic thing to make England feel better about all the crap they just went through in World War Two and won. Thanks for coming over. Cheerio. Do you have, do you have anything <laughs> that you want to uh, mention? Have you got anything coming up that the people should know about or anything going on? Um, sure. Uh, some, some films will be popping up in small parts uh, that should be on the radar soon. Or I Am Texas, uh, Duncan, An nice. Uncomfortable Woman. Nice. Um, also really, really cool projects with really cool people. And they let me pop up <laughs> in that. And I've got a, my own podcast that I'm... Uh, Starting out should be dropping uh, with the beginning of baseball season that uh, looks at baseball movies. Wow. So there'll be uh, nine, a, nine episodes or innings of that. Okay, so, I was going to say that's a limited run, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, nine, nine times about right. You're doing all the greatest hits. Uh, a couple, couple of nuggets, couple deep cuts, a yeah. couple obvious ones, and then that's some exciting. favorites. Great. Well, everybody keep an eye out for that. Jay, thank you so much for doing this. Thanks for it. I release you from your duties. You can never think about Lord of the Rings again. Oh, my God. I got to go to the bathroom so bad. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>